minutes or so. Rowe will be in on the draw. He will be up against Parkinson. Goal scorer Parkinson. Rowe loses the draw. It's right on top of Parkinson. Lash to Raboyne. Back to LeBlanc. LeBlanc down low to Hanowski. Hanowski to LeBlanc. LeBlanc to Raboyne. Raboyne down low to Lash. Lash. Passing lanes blocked. Rowe with the shot. Got blocked by the defense. Five left. Lash with the puck. Somebody shoot. Lash shot. Got hit by Raboyne. Shot goal! It's a goal for St. Cloud State! To tell you the truth, I don't think there was any time left on the clock. And this could be a heartbreaker. I looked up at the clock at the exact moment that the shot was taken, and I do not think this is going to be a goal, unfortunately. I'm not religious, but for all things holy, please prove me wrong and give us something after last Saturday. Patrick Sullivan, you are our only hope and savior down behind the net. Did you see a light go on or anything back there, my man? Gentlemen, I, I could look at that a thousand times the way I did, and I could still not tell you if that was in before the clock hit zero. This is going to be extremely, extremely close. I can, I could, I, I'm, I'm at a loss yeah. for words. I can't even tell you because I'll, it was so close. I think this might count, guys. The Husky Productions clock is timed up exactly on the scoreboard. I just took a look at it. The shot was going to the back of the net with what looked like .1 seconds. If that is timed up with the scoreboard like Derek Silvestri, their engineer, got it to be, this may count. I have the replay on my computer right here, taking a look at that one. There was no time on the clock. It's going to be if it crossed the goal line. But it was about as close as it can get. There's arms up in the air. The, the puck is past the goaltender, Old Tice, with .1 seconds. Oh, I think this is going to count if that's timed up. And this is going to be, I don't want to use the word, but this is going to be a miracle for St. Cloud. They did not have anyone in front of the net. Lash took a shot with two seconds left. It somehow popped free, and this is as close as it gets. Was that Hanowski on the right wing? I have no clue who got Hanowski that. It was either or I mean, Marvin. If it's Hanowski, there's your pick to flick fish. I could oh, care man. less who got it in all honesty as long as that puck is in the back of the net for a goal and the Huskies are going to a five-minute overtime. The scoreboard still reads 4-3. to three. It's under review. Oh, my goodness. I, I am, <laughs> I'm honestly speechless right now. Yeah. This is the craziest end, craziest end to a hockey game that I've seen. And I, I'm trying to get a look at the replay here to see who took the shot. And I, waiting for the official's call. I believe it was Hanowski. Yeah, it's Ben Hanowski that takes the shot. And unfortunately, from that original replay they show from down low, you cannot see the light going on. But gosh, from looking at that first one, that clock looked like it had 0.3 seconds when Old Tice was reaching behind him and 0.1 when the Huskies were starting to celebrate. Well, hopefully we'll celebrate in about point three here. Come on! Yes! Woo! Unbelievable. Excuse wow. the homerism, <laughs> but you know what? That is the biggest goal of the season right there. Unbelievable. Less than point one seconds on the clock. Listen to this crowd. Wow. We'll let you hear it firsthand. That doesn't tell the story. I don't know what does. Chills up and down my spine right now. Wow. Let's play some more hockey. How about it? We'll take a 30-second break, and we'll be back with overtime. 4-4. We got ourselves a tie hockey game.